Hi, this is Miss D at D Special Things. All right, you guys, I am going to do a how-to video on how to glue these together um, for the umbrellas and actually keep them from not separating at the bottom. I had several questions and I said, okay, <laughs> this will be my fourth video on this. The first one, I actually showed you how I scored this. I cut the paper at eight and a half by 12. This is a 12 inch piece of paper. This one I cut at five inches. This makes the pin cushion, but it's the same concept. Okay, so I scored it and I fold it. And I'm gonna make sure I do this video so that you can see everything that I did. And I'm folding it like this, just an accordion fold back and forth and let me finish it over here close to me so that I can hurry up and do it. I wanted to do it online so that you all could see everything that I did. Okay, some people are, I understand that, some people are more visual than um, just, you know, reading and somebody telling you how to do it. Even when I explained it, I said, okay, this could be confusing. So then you end up with two of these, two of these right here. And as you can see, they're accordion folds. I just take one and you decide which sides you want to put it on. I take one and I sandwich it in between each other so that you end up with this, okay? Now, this is the problem people are having. If you take it and you glue it in between there right now, you're not going to be able to open it. Sometimes you can, but for the most part, you can't. So what I do is I take it, and all I did was put it together, and I hold it right here. If you need something to hold it with, let me see if I can find it. I use these little doodads right here these little clips and I'll take it and I'm gonna do it without the clip on here this has not been glued yet I'll take this and I'll separate the two pieces just take it stick your hand in there some kind of way and still holding the bottom separate the two pieces okay so you're going to separate it like this. There you are, right? Separate the two pieces. And you're going to make sure that it's separated, but not so much that you can't attach it on each side. Okay? So when you separate it, it's really already open. Okay, so then what you're going to do is you're going to hold this part down here. You're going to take it and you're going to put glue in between these folds. I'm going to show you as I do them. You're going to put them in between the folds. Remember, you already make sure the folds are in between each other. Okay. You're going to have to make sure the folds are exactly where they're supposed to be. And you're actually going to, because you already opened it, you're going to glue. Let's see. Open it up enough. All right. You're going to glue in between these folds right here. So I'm going to take glue and I'm going to put it in between these folds. Can you see what I'm doing? I hate doing stuff on camera because it's awkward for me. And just put the glue in between each one of these. I'm going to hold it out so I can make sure I do it. I think I showed you how to do this. Put it on one side in between the folds. Okay, it's in between there. Now turn it over. Okay, I put it on that side in between the folds. Turn it over and put it in between the folds on the other side. 
make sure you get it between each one of those folds because you want it to hold it you want to hold it together right and if it go back together it will while you're you're putting that glue in there just merge it open a little but make sure each one of your make sure each one of your folds are in there okay okay so you did it on one side and you could probably do that first put your folds do your um before you fold it just oops see what I did because there's a fold there just go and put it in between each one of the folds and make sure make sure it's open right because you got the glue on both sides now you don't have any creases there it doesn't boggle down there and believe it or not once this is done once this and then you're going to just take your little clip and put it back on there and you have your umbrella now once you do this it closes back it should close back and you shouldn't have any problem with this glued part down here I hope that helps everyone now someone else asked the question and I'm gonna try to answer as many as I can one of the questions was what kind of paper I was using and I answered all these questions in the first couple of videos that I did this is K and company paper this paper has been this paper line has been discontinued but um, I collected this paper throughout the K and company journey so I have all the collections um, and I like it because it's double sided and it's such pretty paper they have a large collection of paper I do have one that Donna used when she did her first video and I ordered some of that and it's by my mind's eye and I forget the name of it it's called something boutique but yeah that is a gorgeous piece of paper to use so I ordered that and I'm waiting for that but um, then after you finish that you glue your sides and you could either use I'm going to glue it with this art glitter glue I love this glue because it adheres pretty fast and I'm going to glue it now while I'm using it another question another question that someone asked was um, can you put the lace and stuff on first and then do it I haven't tried it in my mind it wouldn't work because the glue makes the lace kind of hard so it's not as easy to score first so there is your fan here's actually your fan and as you can see it still functions just like I could still open my fan even though the glue have not totally dried I leave mine for a little while Mm, an hour will probably do probably not even that long but I just want to make sure usually what I do with this is I score it first this one is small enough for the pin cushion that I made you can make it as thin as you want or you can make it as big as you want I tried putting the polyfill in there but haven't figured that one out yet so I actually made mine thin and I'll show you that <coughs> And this is the one that was a, not a total fail, but I, sh I put it between something and it squished it. Yeah, so, though it came out okay, I crumbled it. I smashed it. And I used these little pieces, I cut them in half, and I put them inside there. But for the umbrella stuffers, to use them as a gift, this one I put on a cup. And I haven't finished decorating it. I'm going to put more bling on it. But this is just an example of what it would look like. And if you do it like that, your pieces should come. See already, it's glued. The 
your pieces should come together quite easily. These are super easy to make. You can sit down and just make loads of these. For this size, you can actually use one piece of 12 by 12 paper to make it for the pin cushion. And for the larger ones, you're going to have to use um, two pieces of 12 by 12 paper because they're cut eight and a half by 12. You can use any kind of lace that you want. I had another question about where I get my lace. I've been collecting lace for years. Um, if you want to purchase lace, there are a couple of online stores that I actually have purchased from. Matter of fact, I purchased from uh, every so many years because I buy it in bulk and um, you have to buy it in bulk because they only sell it in bulk. Um, you can get mm, anywhere from 10 to 20 yards but in that case you might want to purchase it from I mean purchase it with a friend. There's a $65 minimum order. Um, yeah, so you might want to purchase it with a friend. That's cheap trims. If you go to lacrafts.com, you can order it there. I don't know. I think you can order it from there by the yard. It's a place in California. And it's the same place that a girlfriend of mine go to from time. Well, she did, gosh, I think about five years ago. And we just bought stupid, crazy lace and shared it between the two of us. Um... Other places you can go to the little teeny bitty trim. I get it from I Am Roses um, Wild Orchid Craft. Yes, they have, and I think you can order it by the yard or either how they sell it um, in five yard increments. Yeah, and it's not too expensive. Um, you can go to Joanne's Hobby Lobby. Um, they have great lace too, but the reason I, I get it from there, but only when I see pieces that I want because there's the largest amount you could get from there unless they sell it by the yard is maybe from Michael's or Hobby Lobby is, is on the spool and it's usually three yard increments um, or 18, 18 feet, somewhere around there, but you have to buy plenty of that. I usually get mine in bulk because I use lace a lot. Yeah, so. Um, yeah, I don't know that I had any other questions. But this should show you how to glue this fan together. Fan. Somebody thought this was a fan. I did want to tell them it wasn't a fan. But I figured they really didn't watch the video. So they'll go back and watch the video. I guess you can use it as a fan, huh? But yeah, this is the friendship umbrella this is a great idea and I'll put the links of the other videos that I did in this video so if you have any other questions watch the either read the comments or watch the video first because a lot of those questions can be answered um, if you have a question that hasn't been asked uh, then go ahead and leave a comment um, if this helped you put this do that together without getting those creases down here. That was the biggest problem. People was having problems once they try to open it up. And be careful about how far up you put that glue. You don't want it all the way up there. Or of course it won't open. But you want to put it down at the bottom. So that it opens as far as you want it to open. I'm going to try these itty bitty teeny ones. Because I like little yeah, so, and and see how they come out. This is a 5-inch one, but I want some this smaller. Yeah, because I think you can also use these to put little gifts inside of them if you just want one or two gifts. And it doesn't have to be as big as this or as large as this one. Yeah, so if you have any other questions, just give me a holler. I hope this video helps. And, um, hey, I'll talk to you later. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.